How's it guys? Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are here in the stunning Matobo Hills just outside of Bulawayo and I'm going to take you guys on a little walk just to show you the fantastic scenery. We're about to head to Silozwe Cave which is one of my favorite caves in the whole area. Um, really beautiful. It's a bit of a drive. We've got to drive to get there. Um, and then a bit of a hike to get up, but it's stunning and really worth it. So you guys are coming along for the ride, so let's go. Here we are guys, we're driving through, we've driven through uh, Motoba Hills National Park um, and then out on the southern side and we're now out in the communal lands, stunning landscape and glorious homesteads and, and villages around here. It's a really beautiful part of the country. Uh, we're just on our way to the cave. What's going to happen when we get there is there's going to be uh, a lot of women who uh, sell baskets and traditional crafts. Um, they don't get many people to sell to, so when we arrive, they're all going to run out of their homes um, and set up a little market. And we won't see anyone when we leave and go up, but when we come back down from the cave, they'll all be there. This is the Sweet Valley Products Processing Center behind me. Um, and this was started by uh, the NGO there or the organization there called Sapphire. You can see on the sign. And Sapphire is the organization that I founded in 1994. Um, I haven't been involved for a very long time, but it's really nice to see. So Sapphire was working with indigenous uh, fruits and indigenous products and indeed here in 2019 um, is still operational and still doing the same kind of thing so that's really pleasing for me. Coming past uh, Silosby Primary School so we're very close now to the caves just up through here. Typical uh, rural Zimbabwean primary school As you can see the classrooms over there and that's the teachers housing over there. So here we are coming in to uh, the parking spot, absolutely beautiful scenery and uh, nobody around at all and like I said by the time we come back I guarantee there will be a whole lot of people here. <laughs> nobody here. Okay, we parked under this uh, chocolate berry tree um, and we are about to head up. So the initial part, uh, going up to the cave which I see is called Silozwane, not Silozwe. Silozwe is the area, the cave is Silozwane. Uh, so the initial walk we go through uh, this uh, beautiful woodland and then we emerge up onto the Dwala, onto the bare rock. Uh, and then curve round and we'll get to the cave. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful walk. Okay, out of the tree line, up onto the bear rock. Okay, nearly at the cave. Now, I don't want to romanticize uh, rural life in Zimbabwe because no one can pretend that it's an easy life. It's definitely hard uh, eking a living out of a landscape like this. But these villages and homesteads are absolutely beautiful. Look at them. And here we are, Silaswani Cave. These paintings, I'm not going to even pretend to claim to know anything about them, other than that they're thousands of years old. Um, but there's something very mystical about just standing and staring at these paintings. And a lot of them have very kind of uh, spiritual connotations as well.
So you might be asking yourselves, what's the point of me taking you on this walk to show you this magnificent scenery? Uh, good question, and I think it's fair that I try and answer it. Um, we at the campsite where we're staying, that the farmhouse just outside uh, Matobo Hills National Park, really beautiful place by the way, uh, there are some Zimbabweans who live overseas and they've come back on a holiday and they are traveling around and we were just having a chat with them this morning. And it made me realize how many Zimbabweans there are out there in the diaspora who've gone or temporarily away or whatever who miss home, of course. And I thought if I could just show you a little scene of home, it uh, might help cure some of that homesickness or maybe it might inspire enough homesickness for you to actually come back at least for a visit. Because uh, you know what guys, we definitely, definitely need your dollars in Zimbabwe. So uh, you, uh, you might think of that. Um, and those of you who've been here before and know the place, um, this just to show you how it's looking now. Um, things are hot in Zim, but nothing has changed here. This is still absolutely magnificently beautiful, of course. Back at the bottom, and exactly as predicted, uh, an entire craft market, which we'll just go and have a look at just now, has just sprung up. I hope you guys have enjoyed that um, little taste of Zimbabwe, uh, something a bit different. Um, if you do enjoy this kind of thing, I normally focus on trees and plants, AfricanPlantHunter.com, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, but I, I somehow got a scribed, self-appointed, unofficial brand ambassador for Zimbabwe, so I do sometimes like to show people just a little bit of our beautiful, incredible African country. Alright guys, um, I will catch you again next time. Take it easy. Bye.